Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Mitch. Good Wednesday morning to you all. Hope you guys are doing well out there and feeling well. Got you an update this morning on uh, what's going to happen weather-wise for today for your Wednesday. Uh, really tonight is going to be kind of the beginning stages of this storm system that we've been talking about over the last several days. And it'll really get cranked up tonight across areas of uh, the central U.S. and then eventually getting its way into the Ohio Valley then the rest of the eastern U.S. Talking about the chance for severe weather, uh, a lot of rain, and then some snow for some areas and certain certain areas could could get a little bit of a surprise and we'll talk more on that tonight but towards the end of the video stay tuned especially if you're kind of in the ohio valley um, i'm going to talk a little bit on specifically on ohio and talk about the latest long range h triple r model that kind of uh, talks on what i mentioned in last night's video about how i think someone not necessarily in Ohio, but some state, maybe in the Great Lakes region, the Ohio Valley, could get a surprise as far as snowfall. Uh, so we'll talk about that. That might not be the case, but we'll talk more on that tonight. But I'll give you a little bit of a, um, a teaser, if, teaser, if you will, towards the end of the video. But we're going to focus in on the weather today, as we always do in these morning videos. If you folks have not subscribed, certainly consider doing that. Like the video if you like it. And as always, um, if you see my cat in the background, she has just been all over me the last few weeks. And uh, if I if I take her out out my bedroom, she starts scratching on the door, and it's very loud. So I just let her hang out with me. I've just gotten kind of used to it. A lot of times when I make these videos, guys, especially in the mornings, I need extreme focus. Uh, any kind of noise that kind of happens outside the video sometimes can distract me. I have to start over. It would blow you guys' mind how often I have to start over the videos sometimes, and sometimes it gets very annoying. But I've just gotten used to it throughout the last uh, year, especially with it. But uh, anyways, if you folks got anything that I can pray about, pray over as always. Please put those in the comments, and I'll certainly pray over it, and I promise you others will do so too. Let's get rolling this morning. The West continues to be active. We've just we pretty much have said that over and over again, but it just continues to be the case. Some wild weather yesterday evening. It looked like there was a tornado warning that was a supercell in California that was actually heading into the mountains. It looked like it was going to be a snow nato. I'm, I'm pretty sure that did not exact actually happen, but who knows? You know, obviously we don't have um, eyes for certain areas way up in the elevations, but uh, certainly some wild weather, and it will continue. I don't think it'll be as intense today as it was yesterday, but there will still be just more moisture moving into the western U.S., and I think areas like Seattle will see a lot more moisture a little bit later today in Washington State. But here comes the beginning stages of our system. This will scoot across the middle of the country, bring a little bit of snow for areas like Kansas and then into northern Missouri overnight. We'll talk on that. And then there's a little system ahead of this main system that could bring a little winter weather for areas like uh, the mountains of West Virginia, Virginia throughout the day today, but I'm not expecting a lot, but we'll certainly watch it and then could bring a little bit of snow for Southern New England. So we'll try to figure that out for you folks today. And then the wet and then the South, the South guys, areas in Texas is going to get into the mid eighties today. I wouldn't be completely surprised if someone tried to sneak in there and get a 90 degree reading. Uh, and I'll talk about that here in a second, but uh, winter weather advisories with freezing rain ongoing, a lot of freezing rain. Well, not a lot, but a big wave of freezing rain is kind of whipping through areas of Minnesota, especially Wisconsin. We'll see if this makes it into the UP and Michigan. A little bit of freezing rain, definitely possible. Uh, typically, you see all snow this time of the year, so it's a little bit odd, but, you know, it happens. But, um... No real watches or warnings or advisories or anything going on in the middle of the country. So it just tells you that they're not expecting a big winter weather event out of this system that's going to be cranking up overnight tonight, but we'll see. Um, there will be a little bit of a tornado threat, very small, a 2% risk of a tornado within 25 miles in any given location in this marginal risk. This includes areas of the Mississippi Valley right here where Kentucky... Um, Tennessee, Northeast Arkansas, Southeast Missouri, and Southern areas of Illinois and uh, Indiana connect. We'll watch for, basically as this low pressure is uh, kind of developing, this will bring a threat for some severe storms really overnight, not necessarily this afternoon, but this will be more so overnight. We'll talk about that a little bit. Not expecting a severe weather outbreak or anything, but definitely have a way to get alerts in this way of the country later tonight. We'll talk about why here in a second. Let's talk about the southeast. In fact, um, we'll probably talk about the severe weather threat here here right now. Uh, but as we're going throughout the day, we're getting into about the middle of the day. We got an area of showers. Uh, maybe a moderate round of, st of, of rain might make its way through uh, areas of northern Kentucky, southern Ohio. Some showers possible in uh, areas of uh, northern Georgia. 
uh, certainly possible. As we're getting into the afternoon to evening, look as a little bit of blue showing up right here. A little bit of winter weather in the higher elevations of West Virginia and Virginia. Certainly possible, uh, but not a big deal. I think you got to be pretty high up to actually see anything. Um, uh, but uh, don't don't be surprised if you're you know uh, two three four thousand feet up in the air in these areas of the central Appalachian Mountains right here that could see a little bit of winter weather. We'll keep this rolling here, and as you're getting into about you know I would say midnight to about 1 a.m. in the morning, here comes our low pressure scooting across areas of Missouri. With it and just south of it, there'll be enough kind of dynamics in general, just enough for a, a round, a very small round of severe storms that gets going in northern Arkansas, works its way northeast and potentially into areas of southeast Missouri and then southern areas of Illinois. So, you know, this will be in the wee hours of the morning. I'm talking about after midnight. So please have a way to get alerts if you're in this region of the country. And we'll talk a little bit about this again tonight and we'll focus in and get a little bit closer for you folks. But this is more so tonight night not this afternoon this evening but tonight that's why it's a little bit you know not worrisome necessarily just be prepared because it's going to happen when most of you folks are asleep unless you're a night owl um, but uh, we'll watch this little cluster of storms in this area of the country as it works through and then watch directly behind it maybe a little burst of heavy snow in Missouri and we'll talk about all this especially in detail tonight guys I promise um, but the northeast Kind of the calm before the storm today, you'll have that area of moisture that I was just mentioning. It'll be all rain for most of West Virginia, but if you get pretty high up, maybe some wet snow as we're getting into the afternoon to later evening hours. And then, you know, some higher elevations, maybe in Maryland, some of the hills in Pennsylvania and, and, and Virginia certainly could see a burst of sleet or snow from this. Um, but just not a big winter weather event by any means, but we're getting into the overnight hours. Some moisture begins to kind of fly through the Delmarva area, some dampness, not, not a lot of moisture, not, nothing compared to what we're about to see. But as we're getting into 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, some snow showers can make their way into northeast Pennsylvania, northern New Jersey, and certainly the valley sections, uh, southern valley sections of New York State. And by the time you're waking up tomorrow morning, some snow showers could be flying around for southern New England, not expecting a big deal out of this at all, uh, but could certainly put a dusting of snow on the ground for tomorrow morning into around midday tomorrow. But, you know, and here comes our big dog system right here about to bring a lot of rain and heavy rain at that storms are possible as far north as southern ohio guys we'll talk about that tonight i promise uh, south central u.s a little bit more active today probably the most active day uh even though it's not really active um uh, compared to what we've seen the last uh, several days and weeks but our low pressure gets cranked up right here here it is uh, give or take 100 miles and uh, you get a little bit of snow that begins to get work worked in here in eastern Colorado especially northeast Colorado areas of uh, western Nebraska and uh, we'll even get a little bit of snowfall I think some scattered snow areas I don't I don't think this is gonna be widespread for Kansas overnight but as we're getting into the middle of the night tonight I think an area of snow it could be it could be heavy. It could be heavy as this low pressure is really cranking up. Uh, not really cranking up, but it's just you basically are going to get heavy moisture associated with this low pressure. And uh, we'll see if it deepens as it goes. But I don't expect this to be a really, as far as uh, millibar low pressure, a very strong system. That lower that number, just like in hurricane season, the stronger the low pressure here. But Watch this little band of snow. It's going to be hard to predict exactly where it kind of moves through, but whoever gets hit by this band of snow after midnight tonight in central, especially eastern areas of Kansas, and then working its way into northern to central areas of uh, Missouri could get a quick inch or two of snow. I think it's very possible, and especially look at this little heavier burst of precipitation falling as snow around Columbia, um, Missouri. And, uh, you know, it's going to be hard to predict exactly where this precipitation sets up tomorrow morning, but I think someone could get a burst of heavy snow somewhere in Missouri, especially tomorrow morning. Like I said, we'll talk about that a little bit, but I mean, look at these severe storms overnight. Certainly watch for some severe weather in this little region right here with um, basically, the, especially the kinematics right here. That's why there's a 2% risk of a tornado right just south and southeast and east of this low pressure. You got a little bit of a, some low level energy, low level jet winds about a mile up in the atmosphere kind of ramping up. So some of these storms will be spinning. That's why you got to be careful. Snowfall as far as this little event overnight, 
listen, I mean, areas certainly of uh, western Nebraska see, could see a couple inches of snow, but, you know, Kansas, especially central and eastern Kansas, some areas from the National Weather Service saying, well, this band of snow could pick up around an inch of snow. It gets really close to Kansas City, and I wouldn't be surpri surprised if uh, just north of Kansas City sees a little bit of accumulating snow, but guys, this band could certainly work its way into Kansas City, certainly possible. Uh, we go into, let's see, Missouri. And uh, this is just between now and tomorrow morning, but this snow is just making its way into Missouri. But if I was to keep this going, it shows the possibility of some accumulating snow, not a lot, but I wouldn't be surprised if somebody busts in the high territory, meaning you get more than what your forecast. It's somewhere in Missouri. We'll talk about all these little wild card, very small scale wild card scenarios tonight for everybody. We'll really focus in on this storm really one last time. And, uh, you know, up here in the Minnesota area, uh, Wisconsin area, we'll take a look at the actual real time radar. Uh, you're reporting uh, freezing rain well um, kind of north or northwest of Milwaukee. But basically anybody really in this pink is probably seeing more so sleet or freezing rain, probably freezing rain. So if you're in the Green Bay area, uh, some freezing rain, maybe some sleet will begin to work its way into the area. It might be, fall, it might fall snow, but from these observations right here, this is looking like mainly freezing rain, freezing drizzle. Uh, so Green Bay, please be careful over the next um, one to two hours. Uh, certainly, a wave of, of, of frozen precipitation will move into your area in the form of freezing rain. So. Um, certainly, uh, you know, freezing rain can get dangerous quick. It might start icing up out there this morning. So, and uh, we look at the latest HRRR model. It's doing an okay job at picking and picking up on this, but this will move into areas of northern Wisconsin throughout the morning hours. Some snow showers certainly possible in central to northern uh, Minnesota. But you know, an area of snow could really get going in northern Michigan. I think it's possible a little bit later today, probably around the midday time frame. We'll watch this as uh, just a, a lot of moisture starts to kind of blossom ahead of this low pressure and associated with this low pressure. But, um, you know, I definitely think some light to moderate snow could get going, especially the central, especially eastern, the eastern areas of the UP of Michigan. And uh, so, you know, don't be surprised, but, you know, by the time you get into this evening, enough warm air gets all the way up into areas of central and northern Michigan where it starts falling is mainly um, rain. So um, it's certainly possible. And if I was to I'm going to try to do this on the fly, guys, and check out you guys in Michigan. But, you know, between snow and now and the uh, next 24 hours here, uh, certainly a little bit of snow could fall in these areas up here. Uh, you know, I think a little bit more snow could fall in northern Michigan, but we'll see what happens. And then, you know, the eastern UP of Michigan, a couple inches of snow possible, a little bit of freezing rain out there. It seems like you guys have had a glaze of ice in the forecast for the last several days. So I'm interesting, exactly, you know, on – Actually, how much glaze of ice y'all are getting up here? I know I got a loyal viewer up here, especially every morning. Steven, I uh, appreciate you viewing all the time. Let me know how much ice you've been seeing. Freezing rain. I know typically you see snow this time of the year, but um, I don't have... Okay, I already went through. So that's it with the north central U.S. Out west, same story. The more moisture continues to work in the northern California. You guys keep continue to get beneficial rain. You're just getting it too fast. The more uh, California snow, same thing with Nevada. We already talked about this system that's going to start cranking up, but I think more rain starts to move into the coastal regions of um, and the eastern areas. I'm sorry, the western areas of Oregon um, a little bit later this afternoon, this evening, and then as we're getting into the evening hours, some heavy rain starts to blast areas like Seattle and things like that. And I think the rain really picks up for you guys overnight. And then another area of heavy precipitation moves in this time tomorrow morning. Rainfall between now and the next 24 hours. One to as much as three to four, maybe even five inches of precipitation falling in a form of rain. This is falling in the form of snow right here, uh, but just heavy rain along the coastal regions. Uh, it's been the same thing over the last several days. Uh, but temperatures today, man, this is blow. This will blow your mind. I mean, guys, we're at January 11th and we're uh, feeling like early summer. I think somewhere in Texas we'll get to 90 degrees a day on January 11th. I don't care what time of the year that is. That's that's almost in the what we call the rare category, but um, certainly going to warm up all the way into Kansas. It might, it might warm up to around 60 degrees in areas that might turn around and see a little bit of snow overnight. But a widespread 70s, 70s as far as far north as probably southern areas of Missouri, widespread 70s in areas of um, Arkansas. I mean, I think areas that probably southern to southwest Arkansas could get close to 80 degrees a day. Widespread 70s for the deep south. 
In fact, you know, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Texas might be in general uh, warmer than areas of um, uh, Florida today. Nice day in the Carolinas, but as soon as you start to get to this region points north, uh, you start to cool down. But, I mean, it's still well above average for this time of the year. So, um, Talking about our system coming up, we're not going to stay too long on this, even though I say that and we turn around and do every single time. Uh, but this is the beginning stages of our system tomorrow. We'll start this off around 4 or 5 a.m. tomorrow. Here it comes. And, uh, you know, this is looking a little bit more dynamic than it has the last couple days. As you can tell, a little bit of snow working its way through New England. And then as we keep going, look at this line of storms. As we're getting into about the late morning, midday time frame, stretching from southern areas of Mississippi through Alabama, through eastern uh, Tennessee, and then all the way up into eastern Kentucky. Heavy rain up just to, up into the Ohio Valley, but still a rumble of thunder. Look at the blue showing up in south central areas of Illinois as cold air filters in behind, behind this low pressure. But the wild thing is, is you could have severe thunderstorms and for example, in like eastern Tennessee and turn around and have snow 12 hours later. It's going to be just kind of one of those dynamic events. But this line of storms could be intense. Damaging winds, this will work its way through Atlanta, probably in the afternoon hours, work its way through the mountains, of the, basically this, all of the southern Appalachian Mountains. I mean, even high up in elevation, you could hear some rumbles of thunder, flash of lightning. Um, heavier rain working its way through uh, the Ohio Valley and then getting into the interior sections of the Mid-Atlantic and the Northeast. And we keep this rolling here. And I mean, this is a pretty intense line of storms. I would not be surprised if the slight risk gets extended a little bit further east. And I'm about to show you the Storm Prediction Center here. See how it's already been extended really close to Columbia? I'm telling you, I think it'll get extended even further east here in the next update or two. Because this line of storms on the a R model looks quite intense. Uh, tomorrow evening and then look at this this is the jackpot area you can continue to focus on the storms but they begin to die out um, and they look kind of intense alone uh, in the delmarva area sometime probably late tomorrow evening but look at this area of backside heavy snow that the h triple r model is trying to pick up on late tomorrow evening in ohio some snow squalls setting up and this will eventually go all the way into Tennessee. But man, this is some intense snow showing up in Ohio, even getting into areas of uh, eastern Pennsylvania. In response, I'm not telling you this is what's going to happen, but I want you to be careful in Ohio with your forecast. Just keep an open mind that it could snow more because if you look at the latest HRRR model, I don't think this is much snow is going to fall, but it's picking up on that wild card area that wild card jackpot area of snow that i'm telling you that someone's going to get out of this system whether it's going to be in michigan ohio indiana eastern pennsylvania i'm not sure we already know the appalachian mountains are going to pick up snow from this northwest flow event that wraps in behind this um wraps up behind this uh system and we'll zone in on those areas again tonight we'll get very detailed tonight be a longer video I'm just trying to figure out each areas but, um, you know, Ohio, watch out. Sneaky little system. We'll see what the next latest long-range JRRR model says. But, you know, it wants to give these areas of Ohio right in here, Cleveland, several inches of snow, and this area of kind of eastern to northeastern sections and northern sections of Ohio, a good little bit of snow. But if you compare that with the actual National Weather Service forecast, right, um, it, it shows snow, right, but it's really confined to northeast Ohio. Nothing that far south like the h triple r model uh, is showing it's still got some hefty amounts of snow showing up for eastern michigan too where the h triple r model just totally whiffs on so uh, my nose is itching my nose is starting to run probably because i'm talking too much but that's all i got guys thank y'all for tuning in stay tuned for tonight um because uh it'll be interesting i'm not gonna talk about the long range forecast to death um, you know, I made a video about what I'm thinking about the last, you know, couple, several days of January. I'm not going to, you know, continue to hound on that, but we will begin to give more and more updates when we know stuff. And uh, we'll kind of throw that in these videos also. But of course, we need to get past this storm system. And I can tell you, it's going to warm up substantially next week across the east. But uh, we'll begin searching for that pattern change here in the, um, uh, coming up here in the next few videos for sure. That's all I got. God bless all y'all and have yourselves a great Wednesday.